Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tom.com and today we're going to look at a comparison between the new Somfy Tahoma Switch and the old Tomo 2.0. So let's have a look and see what all the differences are. First of all, let's start off with the price because it's one of the most interesting aspects. Now, the old Tahoma had a recommended price of 2.99, including VAT, and that's in euros. The new one, the Tahoma Switch, has a price, a recommended retail price, of 1.99. So there's a hundred euros difference, so that's a big difference. So the new one will be a lot cheaper. So can you connect as much as before? Let's have a look. First of all, the total amount of devices or um, products that you can connect. With the Tahoma 2.0, it was 200 in total. And that's already a lot. For the Tahoma Switch, no max is given, so I'm assuming it's more, even though there will be a practical limit to, of course, the amount of devices that you can connect. If you look at the different protocols, then for I.O., the Tahoma 2.0 can connect 200 I.O. devices. And that number has stayed the same for the Tahoma Switch. Same thing with RTS. Limit is a little bit less, so 50 units that can be controlled. But again, the amount of units that can be controlled is the same for both. So both for the Tahoma Switch and the Tahoma 2.0. If you look at the amount of scenarios, and scenarios are the programs that you can start automatically, um, either by the input of a um, sensor or by time. The old Tahoma had 20 scenarios that you can program and can start. With the new Tahoma Switch, you get 40 scenarios, so that's a lot. If you look at the other protocols, there's a difference as well, because the Tahoma 2.0 was able to control Z-Wave devices. Now, some things are continuing in the Z-Wave direction, so they are now focusing on Zigbee 3.0. And the new Tahoma switch will not be controlling anything in Z-Wave, that's impossible, but it will be controlling Zigbee 3.0 devices, and you can connect up to 50 units, so that's quite a lot as well. Another big difference is the way that the both devices connect to the internet. With the old Tahoma, to Alma 2.0, you can see here, there's a connector for an Ethernet cable. So it needs a wire connection to your internet. So it is a cabled solution. With the new Tahoma switch, you can wirelessly connect via Wi-Fi. So that means less cables and more freedom to place your Tahoma anywhere you want. Speaking of placing your Tahoma where you want, um, there's a difference also in the control buttons. The Tahoma 2.0 had a um, touch sensitive front surface that allowed you to start a scenario. So only one scenario could be connected to that touch sensitive surface. On the new Tahoma switch, there are two buttons, one with a one and one with a Roman two. And so both these buttons can be used to start a scenario. That's very handy because it allows you to, for example, when you leave the house or when you enter the house, to start a scenario without opening your app. So that's another difference between the two devices. And that sort of sums it up, because that are, those are all the differences. There is a main difference also in the way that the Tahoma connects to um, devices, for example. And we're going to look at that in another video. For now, if you have any questions about Tahoma 2.0 or the new Tahoma switch, let me know. Um, there is one practical difference still, because we don't have an official release date yet. It means that Tahoma 2.0 is still the only one that's officially available. And for the new one, there's only the pre-order option at the moment. I hope to have a release date soon, but until then, it's um, still waiting for that date. In any case, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.